Today at the Public Safety Building in Spokane, there was a much larger than normal line of people who want concealed weapons permits. That's where KXY4's Jeff Humphrey joins us live. And Jeff, applicants say they are reacting to this shooting in Connecticut. Of innocent children inside a school has taken some gun owners who are still sitting on the fence and pushed them over into gun carrying territory. Getting a concealed weapons permit is expensive and today a time consuming process, but nonetheless, the number of legally armed people here in our community is on a steady rise. At one point this morning, more than two dozen people were waiting for their concealed weapons permits. It's senior volunteer Dan Thomas's job to make sure applicants get through the line as quickly as possible. A year and a half ago when I first started, we were doing approximately 40 to 50 applications per day, and it's up to at least 90 to 100 now, so it's doubled. The people in line today not angry as much as they are anxious about spontaneous, unprovoked violence. They feel that a cop on every corner, the duty of protecting their family falls on their shoulders. The way we feel is you know, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Because he's not been convicted of a felony or had mental health problems, Jim Sawyer is about to become one of 28,000 Spokane County residents with a concealed weapons permit. Be glad to know that there's somebody that's got my back, you know, that I'm not going to be the only one <clears throat> with a concealed weapons from me. Look at the line here today. Today, each of these applicants handed over $52 to get fingerprinted and have their backgrounds checked. Karen Sawyer says it's an investment in her grandchildren's safety now that even first graders are potential targets. I am also a mental health counselor, so I understand mental health issues, and we don't have the resources. Um, financially or enough counselors out there to also deal with mental health issues so the people we talked with today that said that anybody who elects to carry a loaded gun in public owes it to their family and this community to have the right equipment and the proper training reporting at the public safety building Jeff Humphrey KXY4